Hello lovelies, my name is Ayo Elizabeth. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Eat Right Africa. I've noticed that a lot of people want me to talk about how to manage their weight, what to do to lose weight. I'm talking about how to egg diet for weight loss. So this means that you are looking at consuming more eggs than usual and you're literally on a high protein diet because you're eating more eggs before we dive into it let's have a quick check on the facts that you need to keep in mind about your eggs number one your eggs are rich in vitamin b12 vitamin b12 is very important for neurological functions we're talking about memory we're talking about decision making we're talking about balance your eggs are also apart from fish they're rich in vitamin d if you are pregnant, eggs are also good for you because it helps in the brain development of the fetus. So eggs are good and they're rich in fatty acids that are good for your heart. So eggs are rich in omega-3 fatty acids. Eggs are a good part of our diet. Eggs are high in cholesterol and they contain no fiber. If you are on a diet and it's an egg diet, you want to be sure that you're eating enough fiber from other foods and vegetables. What is your goal weight? How, mu how many kilos do you want to lose? It's very important that you keep that in mind. Most times people just say, I want to lose weight. How many kilos do you want to lose? Do you want to lose two kilos? Do you want to lose four? Over what period of time? So if you are on a weight loss journey, don't forget to determine, to make a decision on the number of kilos you want to lose and over what period of time. So if, say you want to lose two and a half kilos per month and you want to be on a weight plan for three months. That's a definite goal and it's specific and you can work towards it. All right, lovelies, let's take a quick look together at one of the questions that I got from my viewers. Consume three eggs for breakfast, three eggs for lunch and uh, no eggs for dinner. So we're looking at six eggs per day. And it is not recommendable it can be very dangerous to your health and I recommend that you do not do it so if you want to go on an egg diet I recommend that once a day probably the first meal you are having on a particular day is just eggs we're looking at three months if you go on an egg diet and you do two eggs per day over a period of three months uh, that should be fine but I wouldn't recommend anything more than two eggs per day any kind of diet that is extreme, that makes you lose so much weight over a short period of time is usually not good for you. Two and a half to three kilos loss per month is ideal. So you don't want to overdo it. You want to have a plan that is laid out over a good period of time and is not going to cause any harm to your health. If you live in Africa, let's take Lagos for example, what other foods are you consuming alongside your eggs? Carbohydrates that are richer in fiber and are very balanced. These days you find grinded oats in the supermarket which you can eat as your dough instead of gari or instead of any other kind of flour, instead of corn flour or rice flour. You want to do oat flour and you can also consume your oat as a meal on its own, right? So you're doing oatmeal and you're doing beans and you're not consuming any kinds of sweetened beverages. You're drinking mostly waters and teas. As often as you can, just do waters and teas. Don't forget you have a goal in mind. You're also avoiding fruits and vegetables that are rich in sugars. So I'd advise that if you live in a place like Lagos in Africa, you should do more cucumbers. You can do a bit more tomatoes. You can do all the kind of green leaves, lettuce, spinach, everything green that you can find is amazing you can do those all right so that is how to have a moderate high protein diet which is majorly based on the on a higher consumption of eggs if you are on an egg diet you're consuming a lot more cholesterol than usual so you want to be careful that the other sources of your cholesterol are balanced so you can do a lot of uh, um, lean meats like poultry you can do fish all right my lovelies that was it for this review episode of eat right africa thank you so much for joining me feel free to share engage let me know how you were doing feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions and I will consider treating them in general for viewers as a review episode. Have a great day. It was good to see you again and goodbye.